What's up YouTube, Ross HD here. I want to do a quick uh, walk through my home theater. A lot of people have been asking me about it, so I want to kind of touch upon everything and, and how I got here. Uh, we've had about five, six months of remodeling, so follow me into the room and we'll do a quick walkthrough. Okay, so we're in the theater here. Uh, I'm gonna talk about the screen and the equipment and, and the room in general. So the room is about 26 by 14 feet. Uh, it's a room inside a room. This originally, when we got the house, was just kind of a, a rec room. When I got here, I built walls inside the walls that were already there. They're insulated, same with the ceiling. My one weak point was probably the windows. I've got a few inches of acoustic foam in there for now until I get the windows replaced. I may just leave the foam in there in general. So as I back up here, the first thing is the screen. We're going to kind of touch upon that a little later. It's a 150-inch acoustic transparent DYI screen. I think I got the material at Carl's place. Uh, it works well. Now I'm kind of thinking I'm going to get a screen, buy a screen. The wood has shrunk slightly. There's some wrinkles coming in it. No matter what you do, this is what's going to happen. So I think it's kind of spend the money, buy once, cry once, as they say. Uh, I'll get more into that. My speakers are behind her as well. Some DIY panels, I have two here, two on the other side of the room. Pretty cost effective to make. Uh, there's some acoustic foam in there and some material I got at our local store, nothing crazy. Um, as far as when we walk around the room, as I said with these windows, five and a half inches of acoustic foam. Got to uh, stop the sound and this was the weak point. These windows were put in probably I think in 1978. So they're pretty thin glass every bit. Even though the room is insulated, the noise was just going right out the windows, even though they were closed. This couch, it's Felipe, my dog there. Uh, the couch is something I had at my old house. Uh, I didn't have it very long. I didn't want to get rid of it yet. We do have plans of switching this out for four theater chairs, some higher end ones for the lower level. I have some more affordable ones in the back. Obviously with the dog here all the time, uh, fur on everything, no matter what I do. Every day I'm vacuuming in this couch. But it serves its purpose and it's pretty comfy. I mean, my uh, girlfriend who is recording this, Carolina, gets to, you know, cozy up on it. As far as the side and rear surrounds and upper uh, Atmos speakers, I use BIC. Uh, they're 8 inch with a horn. I got them at my other house, kind of in a spare room. They serve their purpose, they were affordable. Uh, I'm typically a Klipsch guy. But they sounded really good. So when I got here to save a buck, I said, well, we'll go for those. Parts Express, I think $170 a pair. So two pairs of those and then the six and a half inch on the ceiling. They serve the purpose. Will I get upgrade them? Probably at some point, uh, just not yet. Uh, there's a 12 inch riser back here. Uh, these four uh, theater seats, they're real basic, manual um, adjustments and stuff on them. There's no lights, there's no extras on them, but Hey, for 12, 1300 bucks, what do you want? They serve the purpose and the people in the back row are in the back row. The media, media center, DVDs. I got laser discs up in the, the garage and storage. DVDs, I went crazy with these for a while and then I realized what a waste of money to buy that many movies. Started switching to Blu-ray, got out of this for a while. Now I'm into the 4K, so I'm trying to kind of get some 4K movies. I'm never gonna go crazy with these again. I want to kind of getting into like a media storage on the home theater PC. Uh, again, in the back, there's about three feet or so of space behind the seats. I didn't want these up against the wall. Also behind these seats, there is a Dayton Audio sub, which again, I bought at the other house for, for an extra sub. It's got dual 12 inch subs, 1000 watt amp. They're kind of in a push-pull configuration. It works, that thing pumps out the base, I gotta tell you. Um, Optima. Uh, E-Chef projector, you know, it's not really a 4K, but it looks pretty darn good. I gotta say, this was something I had to make some compromise on at the beginning. It was either get a projector in, get this room kind of done for the Christmas holiday, or don't do it and save up some more money, get my seats, get a better projector. Kind of wanted to get it done for now and upgrade, because that's most of the fun in this is upgrading stuff. Bringing it over here, we've got our fridge. I got some posters here too. I'm gonna to change the camera position so we can get a better look at this. Okay, uh, a lot of people may not care about the posters, but I gotta talk about them. At my other house, I had a friend who works at the Cinemark. He's a the manager there. I had access to posters all the time. I have a ton of them in my garage up in the attic. Uh, I wanna do something different here. So I got these prints. I didn't want a jump in your face poster, you know, the Dark Knight and so on and so on. But this picture in particular, I had to get. I have a signed um, Goodfellas DVD from, from Paul Servino. 
uh, how to get the, the picture from the movie, you know? So this is from the Goodfellas movie. Over here, who doesn't love Star Wars? I wanted something a little different, so, you know, walking around in New York, right? The, the, the ad ad, I think. Uh, Star Trek, what can you say? James T. Kirk, classic episode. Uh, I thought it was kind of unique with the boxing theme, so I followed it over to the Superman uh, one here with Dark Side. Gotta love Marvel, gotta love DC, doesn't matter to me, I love them both the same. Uh, moving on over to here, some more acoustic panels. One thing I had to say about this, these made a drastic difference. Everything I've done in this room was from watching video after video after video online all the time. It's all I do. i got to get some more of these panels for the ceiling as well I'm going to make. Uh, I think I'm going to get a pretty big one in front of the screen and one here in the center. This, everybody's like, what's the hole? What is the hole for? Is that some kind of port for a subwoofer box? Dual 24s in there? Not at all. It's for my cat. He goes in there and his litter box is in there and I have a little bit of storage in there for him and from other stuff. Um, so it just, it's convenient and kind of got the litter box out of the way. It's not stinking up the house. It works. Let's get over to the rack. I'm going to start at the bottom. I wanted to save some money, so I built this rack myself pretty cheap. I don't think I have $70 in this rack. It was pretty much scrap material I had laying around from the, the house remodel. Starting at the bottom, I got an OPPO uh, DVD player. I'm not going to go into the exact number of all these things. I don't remember what it was anymore, but it's a great DVD player. It's good for Blu-rays and DVDs and so on. Got a Sony Blu-ray player. Would probably upgrade this down the line, uh, maybe to a Panasonic. I might wait for 8K, but for now, it serves its purpose. It's pretty good. At 8,000 something was the model. Imitiva uh, UPA 200. I think that puts out something like 125 watts, 150 watts. I'm using that for my side surrounds right next to my ear. Figured I didn't need as much power for those because they're so close. For the Atmos, got the Basex uh, Imitiva 80 watts times 5. More than enough power for your Atmos channels. Moving up to this, this is for my two 18 inch subs. Again, I got the two 12s in the rear, 1000 watts. Behind the screen, I got the two 18s. So four ohms, 1100 watts RMS. It, it, it moves them pretty good, but it's loud and I'm tired of it. So this will get upgraded. It might be even my next purchase and we'll do a video on that as well. Uh, Imitiva Gen 2 XPA5, this was the first amp I got. This thing is awesome. It's a beast, it, it, it weighs half the weight of me, uh, but I'll never get rid of this amp. This thing is great. Up here to the Denon receiver. I want to get a preamp pro. For now, it works. This is a spectacular receiver. I recommend it to anybody. If you're looking kind of in that middle of the line, I bought this on a refurb when this was going for $1,500, $1,600 bucks for $850. So you can't beat it. There's nothing wrong with it. It's, it's very good. So don't ever be afraid of any of these receivers. Uh, but eventually, I'll probably move to maybe an Emotiva uh, Pre-Pro, maybe a Marantz. I don't know. I'm, I'm really up in the air right now. Home Theater PC. This thing is six, seven years old. It's tired. It's time for an upgrade. Um, I really want to expand the hard drive space in this to start ripping movies, get them on there, you know, 60, 70, 80 terabytes of info. This thing is still running Windows 7. I don't even have support for it anymore. So this thing is, is also next on the list. So my friends are going to be doing that for me. Um, Kenwood EQ, bought this probably 1989, I, I think. That thing's still kicking. I don't even have it hooked up now. It's kind of just filling the space. Behind the rack, you know, we have our, our um, Wi-Fi and our, our um, modem is back there. There is three dedicated circuits to this rack. Each has a 20 amp uh, breaker, so we got 60 amps here. The room is on another 20 amp, so we got 80 amps just dedicated to this room. So I can run a lot of power in here when needed. So I'm going to kind of remove the camera again, put it somewhere else so we can kind of see the screen. Okay, so another angle, yeah. Uh, again, the screen. It's a 16 by 9. I went round and round. Do I want a 235, 16 by 9? Ultimately, we do a lot of viewing down here. It's not just movies. I have my computer on here. We'll watch YouTube videos, music videos, you know, movies, TV, whatever. So I think for now, the 16 by 9 was the way to go. Uh, again, this was a DIY screen. It's pretty large. Right now, the lights are on. I'm kind of going to step back here. This, this screen is humongous. Uh, and I could still even go a little bit larger if I wanted. I may or may not down the line. I don't know. But for now, it serves a purpose. Um, one of the things, and this is a mistake I made, the lighting. I wished, I, I, if I could go back, I would switch this lighting all on different circuits. It's all on one circuit. 
there's too much reflection on the screen. I kind of made these makeshift little uh, light blockers in front of the, all the um, uh, lights so that even when the lights are on full blast, you can still see the screen. It's washing out a little bit on the bottom, but I typically don't have it this bright. So I'm going to kind of lower the lights to show you what it looks like at just kind of average brightness. Typically, you know, we have it like that, and you can watch TV. It's still bright enough in here to see what you're doing, and the screen is, is plenty um, punchy. Let me go back here for a second. You know, it, like I said, it, it has a lot of uh, punch to the color. It's a good, it's a good projector. I, I enjoy it a lot. I think for the money, I paid sixteen, seventeen hundred bucks for it. You can't go wrong with it. Eventually, though, I do want to move up to something with lens memory, so I can kind of zoom in and out. Um, I might come up with some sort of masking because I'm always going to have a sixteen to nine screen. Behind the screen, there's my speakers. Um, I'm not going to pull the screen down now. I'm running some old school stuff. I got the two 18-inch Dayton Audio subs, uh, again with the 1100 watts going to each one. I'm running a Klipsch KG 5.5s, which I bought back in, I believe, 1994 for 1000 bucks. They were pretty good speakers back then. They've lasted me 26 years. Let me up the, the lights here. Uh, they've lasted me 26 years, but it's kind of time for an upgrade. Center channel, I don't remember the model number. Um, I got it a few years later. It's uh, Again, clips, it's got dual six. The gold cones, uh, I'm not sure of the actual model number. It's it's decent, but it's time for an upgrade. I am going round and round on what I want to do here with that. That will be another video and a surprise. So we'll see what I, what I do there. But I want that movie theater feel here. I really don't listen to music the way I used to. I kind of do it with the, mu the uh, music videos. Uh, occasionally I do, but I didn't want the speakers out here. I wanted everything kind of concealed or in the walls and... and just kind of out of sight, out of mind, give it a cleaner look. Um, so that's kind of a walkthrough right now of the, the theater. A uh, few months. It's not perfect. There, there's mistakes I made that I will talk about uh, in other videos, but it, it's something to, to do in the future. Uh, you may see my girlfriend, Carolina, involved in some of these videos because she's great. She supports me in all this. She's the one getting me to do this right now behind the camera. Uh, so I can't wait for my next video. Give me a thumbs up and a like. Uh, and we can just kind of make more content as I get time and we'll follow the, the creation here that we're kind of doing. All right.